Have you ever been thinking about something so hard that you could be standing in your own living room and your mind just completely takes you to a different place and your heart starts racing? Well, that happened to me the other day when my DHL package came. I was looking out the window and I seen DHL. Now, I normally don't get DHL packages, so when they came, in my head, I started thinking about exactly what I was going to do. Let me show you. Now, first things first, shout out to Kate from Kixie.com for getting these to me as quickly as possible. The link will be in the description below when you go to grab them. Tell them the Nailman sent you. And until I get my own, make sure you use Cold Culture's discount code to get you a discount on your pair. That's what I had to do. They were not free. Now, they're calling these the Air Jordan 1 High OG Dior's. As you can see, I wear a size 9.5. And as you can also see here, they're retailing suggestively for $2,000 at this point. Now, that is flicking, as you can see. Uh, I like when the tag does flick like that. Let's see if it does scan. Uh, now, most of the Nike boxes uh, with this scan here typically are scanning to the uh, Nike website. Let me see if this one does the same. Uh, yep, looks like this one is doing the same. Uh, so going straight to the Nike website. All right, now let's get to the unboxing. All right, now hold everything. I gotta give a second shout out to Kate them from Kixie. You see what these are? You see what these are? You see what these are? These is the KN95s. Now I remember thinking that live show when Colo wore the same mask and did the lighter test to make sure that these masks are official. And they were. Go back and check that show if you don't remember. And shout out to Colo Culture Media for taking that test for us. You see, you can't go nowhere around the city without a mask on. So when I ordered my Dior's, I told them, Kate, make sure you send me some masks with my shoes. They said $29.9 extra, and I'll throw them in the box, and you won't have to worry about no additional shipping. I said, cool. That was the main thing I was worried about in these days and times, because I got to get out here, and I ain't got no mask. So if you ain't got no mask, just remember, Kate from Kixie got masks, $29.99 before shipping. All right, now let's get back to the video. Now with the designer shoes comes the designer paper. The Air Jordan or Jordan Dior's has the orange Dior paper. Um, it was more of just a paper feel, not really waxy. Um, and the box was just empty, no tags on it. Um, and so the first thing I'm thinking about is these Dior checks. Um, excellent fabric on the Dior check as I'm looking all the way around it. I'm getting all the dust off the shoe. Uh, really paying close detail to these Dior checks. Um, really good fabric on them. And as I'm thinking that this is just the best shoe, I'm taking a look all the way around it. Um, the suppleness of the leather, I'm loving um, everything. And, you know, the gray, one of my favorite colors is gray. Um, so I'm just looking at the, the, the tags. I look at the stamp. Um, the Air Dior stamp is a really, really good supple stamp uh, against the supple leather. So I'm really loving that. And so as I'm looking at this, the toe box, got to pay close attention to the toe box. Hold up, hold up, hold up. What is this? Man, I noticed this little weird brown looking mark. Man, I don't know if it's bleach or if it's like some mud. I'm trying to rub it off, but it isn't coming off at all. So Kate from Kixie, man. That's one shot out taken away from y'all, man. I couldn't even believe that when I seen it. I was devastated. I'm looking at that, man. I'm like, what is going on? And then I start thinking, yo, with this tongue, though. So then I start looking at the tongue, and I'm like, yo, that Dior air is nice. The tongue is like the Dior is in the tongue. I'm feeling the texture of the tongue. Um, I just got to take a better look. Even the suppleness of where the laces are held, it's, it's a leather in that. And the Dior fabric is all throughout the tongue. Um, awesome tongue. And I'm going to have to say pause right there, but I'm pretty sure that's what she said. Um, so it kind of took my mind off that little scuffle. Um, and so then I was looking at the inner sole, and I'm thinking, yo, this inner sole is not very good. You know, why do they have such a cheap looking inner sole? And then I realized that it actually is just a cover. 
Now this is how you know they're getting ready to release these because the newer versions of the Dior's have the inner Dior uh, sandal sole. Um, if you take a look here, um, so for some pe people you actually uh, don't have to necessarily wear socks, you could just wear the inner sole, you could take the uh, that sole out. So I went ahead and scanned the inner tag as well to see if that one would scan. And looking on the phone here, it looks like it did the same thing as the box. Uh, went right to the Nike site, so not bad. Um, looking at the bottoms of the shoes, I'm thinking how great these are. Um, the right shoe here has the Dior on the bottom, um, whereas the left shoe has the Air Dior on it. Um, Again, great bottom, great gum clear, gum sole bottoms. Um, and here are what looks like silver um, Jordan um, icons. I see that it actually shows both of the iconic uh, Jordan emblems. Um, now, the thing about these there, they were actually pretty heavy. I don't know if they were just regular silver material, but they were actually pretty heavy. Um, you might even be able to hear it here. Now, I'm not really the type of person that could walk with these on my shoes. It's much too loud and flashy for me. But with that, the next thing I noticed back onto that tongue was the inner side of the tongue and how the letters actually were pretty nice. Um, they weren't really scattered. I could read them pretty well. Um, the Air Dior on here was kind of stiff. I'm kind of crunchy, but it was not bad. I liked how it felt um, on the tongue. And as I looked here, I noticed there was Miami on one side. Um, very supple leather there. Um, and on the other shoe, there was actually nothing, um, to which I think this is where um, the numbering will go. Um, this is kind of how you'll know a distinct pair from an indistinct pair. Um, getting to the shoelace, where it actually has the Dior shoelaces. These are, these are nice, these are really nice shoelaces. As I'm looking at the shoelaces, I notice where they're going. I notice it looks like the holes weren't fully cut out of the shoe, which wasn't bad. I was able to pull the material out, but it looks like they may need to sharpen up their tools there. And when I did, I noticed there was one bag of shoelaces missing. I was kind of disappointed at that. But let's go to the on foot. Whenever I daydream about myself, I always daydream about myself having a ponytail and maybe even or wearing my own clothing line. So here I am with the third eye clothing and a ponytail. And I got my mask from Kate. Shout out to Kate for the mask, by the way. Now I got the Dior's on. I just didn't want to show a little bit of on foot uh, shots. So I had to come out. Now in these days and times, the parking lots are empty, but you know me. I'm always thinking about family, and I'm, sometimes I'm thinking about dollars, so it's only right to be in front of the family dollar, I suppose. So, again, just getting some on-foot shots. Um, you know, I wanted to wear something that was going to match the shoes, uh, so I just came out with some uh, gray joggers. You know, really so you can get a feel of how these shoes look when you have joggers on. Um, maybe you're the type to, you know, wear the pant leg up, that sort of thing. And maybe you might wear both pant legs up, you know, maybe like it like that. Um, you know, like I said, with these, you don't have to wear any socks if you pull that other sole out. So you might got your, your socks off, your feet in. Now these are unauthorized authentics that come from Kixie.com. Unauthorized authentics. Here's that toe box. A few more shots, you know, on foot shots. I appreciate you guys tuning in at this point. If you're still here with me, I appreciate it if you go ahead and thumb up. And please subscribe if you're not already subscribed.
third eye clothing coming soon. And here's a couple shots of the bottoms of the shoes where you can see the Dior. And then you can also see the, uh, the Air Dior symbol as well. Funny thing about daydreams is that different noises can bring you right back to reality. What may sound like a cold belt in a car in one reality could be the doorbell in the other reality. And then you find yourself right back in your living room where you started. But which one is real? This one or that one? Thanks for tuning in to another Nailman Unboxing. I'll catch you next time. Peace, light, and love. Man, I sure hope it's my Dior's and my masks.